Well, guys, Dave here for the Black Hat Brothers with another with another Sunday video. As I just like tongue twister, like every time I say that, I feel like I get really fast and I just blow by it and kill myself. But whatever. Um, and it also seems like I get really fat. I, I get like faster at it as I go on these videos. It's like it's like in two months I'll be like, hello, guys. <laughs> It's it's gonna be a mess, okay? So yeah. But last week, um, we talked about uh, how music can cure depression, um, how listening to music can cure depression, and how um, you know playing music can uh, cure all these ligamental uh, diseases, and um, how they can help you in life, and uh, how they can cure a lot of things, a lot of these uh, diseases, you know, like arthritis, like you know. I gave uh, playing uh, drums, percussion as one of them, uh, curing arthritis, and. Um, and also, playing music also can help depression. Um, listening to music helps more, though, so yeah. But um, this week, we're going to talk about the total opposite of that, how ca it can cause these feelings, uh, cause these feelings of hopelessness and depression and all that, um, how it can cause all these feelings. And I guess it goes back to the genre of music you listen to. Um, if you listen to pop music, I'm sure you won't be depressed because it's all this up-tempo stuff that's really uh, happy-sounding and uh, uses all these major... Uh, major chords, these repeating major chords that sound happy, and uh, you'll you'll be pumped up. Basically, that's what pop music is—a pumped up type of music. Um, but if you're listening to uh, these ballad type of music, um, ballad type of songs, y you might feel more depressed. And the slower, just slower tempo, um, kind of makes you depressed. So, you know, I guess it depends on the genre you're listening to. Um, if it's you know, soft, uh, slow music, you have more of a chance of being that way. If it's uh, up-tempo pop, or maybe some rap music, actually, um, a lot of rap music, uh, for the most part, is up-tempo. Um, you know, there's some of those cases, uh, some of those Eminem songs and some other rap songs. Um, you know, the older, actually older rap, um, you know, back when rap was actually an art back in, like, back in the early 2000s and uh, late 90s and maybe uh, early 90s, um, I'm not saying it's not an art now, but it was more of an art back then, but I'm not going to talk about that. I should just leave that to another video, but back, um, you know, listening to those rap songs that are slower, uh, slower tempo, and, uh, you know, sometimes the, um, topics in those slower rap songs kind of reflect the mood and, um, why they're so slow, and, you know, usually they're a sadder topic, and that's why the song is slower, but, um, you know, those can also be a cause of depression. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of reasons for depression out there. I'm not saying music is a big one. I think it's a, a small one, actually. Um, I think it helps depression more than it causes depression. Um, you know, some people might have different views of that, but that, that's just what I think. Uh, I just want to say that some music, you know, can cause depression. And, you know, some, like, topics in music, might, you might relate it to your own life. Um, if it's a love song and you just broke up with somebody you could listen to that song and kind of feel what they're feeling, but they're feeling kind of what you're feeling. And you can relate that song to how you're feeling in life right now. So if you're, if it's like a love song and um, you just broke up with somebody, you can relate that love song to what you're going through right then. And it can kind of relate and kind of help you cope with this, um, cope with like that issue. And that's kind of on the good side of music, but it can also spur on that moment and kind of... Um, create more of a depression um filled self so it's kind of you know it's kind of it's kind of a double-edged knife there double-edged sword whatever we're gonna talk call it so yeah it can it can go that both ways like i said last week there's a lot of reasons why music is great and one of them is curing diseases and you know it's not curing these diseases it's helping with them but um it cures depression for the most part and it can cure depression if you let it. Um, if you think about it too much um, and you go all in depth with this, it might backfire on you and be like, oh, I'm depressed. But if you just let it do what it's supposed to do, it can cure that depression. But it doesn't cure these diseases. Playing music may cure like a minor disease, but for the most part, it just helps it, it helps it go. And it just helps it uh, makes itself better. So that's what I said last week. Um, this week, you know, it's it's kind of there's another there's another side to it. It can also cause depression with kind of the mood feelings, the tempo of the music, what's the song about, you know, all those questions. Um, you know, 
if you answer those questions and most of them are depressing or slow, it might be spurring on that depression. So I just want to get that out there, just a little opposite weeks here. And um, also, I did not upload the other episode to the Facebook page, so I'll do that right after I um, make this video and put it on YouTube, which it should be on YouTube now because you guys are seeing it on YouTube. But um, it should be uh, both both videos should be on the Facebook page in the same posts. Um, I just did that because um, they're about the same topic, so it's kind of like part two of what we continued last week. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed these episodes, leave a like down below. And also, please subscribe to the Black Hat Bros for more videos and music. Dave out.